Power Query is amazing. It helps us solve lots of data problems and it's easier than all other methods. And it leads us to tell our friends and work colleagues, go learn Power Query, it's so easy. But there comes a point where the learning curve spikes massively. Suddenly a problem that is slightly more complex requires significantly more skill. And to those same friends and work colleagues, we say Power Query is so hard. And then we have to go and learn the language behind Power Query, which is known as M. But imagine if there are a way to make Power Query easier for longer without writing any code. Well, we've done it and let's go and see how it works. Here is the data that we're working with. It looks like a nice tidy report, but this is a nightmare. It contains null columns. We have null values inside the data. We have an unknown number of rows above the header row because we might get a new product. We have multiple header rows. We have pivoted data and we have products with inconsistent names. How can we convert this into something flexible which will work whenever new data is added for new products or new dates? Let's go find out. In Excel, we have the Excel off the grid ribbon. And this contains the Power Query Quick Steps custom functions library as an Excel add-in. And there are lots of functions available in here. We've got a drop down so we can see all the functions. And we've got a search box so we can easily find the functions that we want. Plus, if we click the edit button, we can add, rename and export functions in different formats. The functions are also available to copy and paste as text, Excel and Power BI files. So even if you're not using Excel, it's not a problem. The functions we need are reflective of the type of issues that we have. So we want to add FX remove null columns, which removes null columns. We want to add FX remove top rows until value. This will help us remove rows until we find a specific value. We want to add FX flatten header rows. This helps us to flatten multiple header rows. And we want to add FX multi find replace. This helps us replace multiple values inside a column. In our training program, the functions come with a full reference guide containing all the functions, arguments and examples. Plus every function comes with a full video lesson showing how to apply it. Now let's go and connect to our example file and we're also going to load a table of find and replace values. So let's go and head over into Power Query. If we have default settings applied, Power Query will automatically add the promoted headers and changed type steps. We don't need those, so we can click on the cross to delete them. The first action we want to undertake is to remove any null columns. For this, we're going to use the FX remove null columns custom function that we loaded earlier. To use it, we'll click on the FX icon. That now creates a new step with our previous step name in the formula bar. If we start typing FX and then remove null columns, you can see that that appears in the IntelliSense. We can press tab to accept that, and then I'll enter an opening bracket. The first argument is the name of the step that we want to perform the transformation on. So we want to use our previous step name, which is already in the formula bar. So we'll close that bracket at the end and commit that. And now all of our null columns have been removed. Now, because we could have a new product, our data that starts at row 18 in a future month might start at a different row. Therefore, we have a function that helps us remove the top rows until it finds a specific value. So on column one, we want to remove all of the rows above the word breakdown. For this, we want to use the FX remove top rows until value function. I'll click on the FX icon to add a new step. And again, that inserts the name of our previous step into the formula bar. So I'll type FX and we can see our function in the IntelliSense. We'll press tab to accept that. We'll then enter the opening bracket. You can see the arguments that we need. They are table, search column name, search value, partial match, and instance number. If we hover over the function name in the formula bar, it provides a description of each argument that we need. So we've got our first argument. Custom one is our table. I'll enter a comma. Then we have our second argument, which is search column name. And our column name that we want to search through is column one. The next argument is search value. We want to find the word breakdown. 
Partial match and instance number are optional arguments, and in this scenario, we don't need to use either of those. So we can close the bracket at the end and then commit that function. Fantastic, we've now removed all those rows at the top, and we can see that breakdown is now our first row. Now we don't need the row with the word breakdown, that was merely a marker that we could use to help us find where our data starts. Therefore, we can remove the top row. We can enter one as the number of rows and then click OK. We now have the issue of multiple header rows. Well, we have a custom function for that. So I'll click on the FX icon to add a step and then we can enter FX and then find the flatten header rows function. We can see that this has four arguments, table, header row count, separator and fill direction. Our previous step of removed top rows is the table that we want to transform. The next argument is header row count. We have two header rows, so we will enter two. The next argument is the separator. These are the characters that we want to place in between the different elements of our new column name. For this, let's use a pipe symbol. Finally, we have the fill direction. This is useful where we have merged cells in Excel. In this scenario, we want to fill our cells to the right. So we will enter right. That's it, that's all the arguments. So we'll close that bracket and commit that. And that's fantastic, we now have a flattened header row. Okay, now let's rename our columns. The first column we'll call item, and then the second column we'll call version. Unfortunately, product three currently goes by three names, product three, prod three, and item three. So let's do a multi-find replace using our find and replace table. I'll click on the FX icon and add the FX multi find replace function. The first argument is the table. This is our previous step. Then we have the column names list. This is the list of column names that we want to apply this transformation to. We just want to apply this to the item column. So as a list, we will enter item in curly brackets. The next argument is find list. This is the list of items that we want to find that's available in our find replace table and our find column. After that, the next argument is the replace list. So this is the find and replace table and then the replace column. Finally, we have an argument partial match that determines whether we want to have an exact match or a partial match replacement. For this scenario, we want to use an exact match, so we will enter false. Then we can close that and commit that function. Okay, all of those values now say product three, which means we're now ready to fill down on our item column. So we can select item and then in the transform ribbon, we can go to fill and then fill down. Okay, our data is now in a really good shape so that we can perform the standard types of transformations that we would use inside this scenario. So we're going to start by unpivoting our columns. We'll select item and version and then from the transform ribbon, we'll click on the unpivot columns drop down and then unpivot other columns. We can now split the attribute column by the pipe symbol that we inserted into our FX flatten header rows function. We can select the attribute column, then click split column, then by delimiter. Our delimiter is a custom value for which we want to enter the pipe symbol, and then we can click OK. As default Power Query behavior, we may have a change type step that we don't need, so let's delete that. Now we can pivot on the attribute to column to give us a column of units and a column of values. So select attribute to and then click pivot column. In the values column drop down, we want to select value and then click OK. We now want to split the attribute one column to get the quarter and years in different columns. So I'll select attribute one, then split column, split column by delimiter. This time the delimiter is a space, so we don't need to make any changes in there and then we can click OK. Again, Power Query has automatically applied the change type step, so we can delete that. And now let's rename our columns. So attribute 1.1 should become quarter, and attribute 1.2 should become year. Okay, now let's apply our data types. Item, version, and quarter should all be text. Year should be a whole number, and units and value can be decimal numbers. And that's it, now let's close and load this back into Excel. Fantastic, we've now got our data in a usable format. Now let's go and add some more data into our original example file. You can see we have a new product called product seven. So therefore our breakdown has moved down by one row 
Not only that, but we also have Q1 2025 as a new time period. Okay, let's save this, close this, and then head back to our workbook, which contains our query. All we have to do is click data, refresh all. You can see we now get the data for 2025. And also if we scroll down, you can see we have product seven. And that's it with our four functions. We've taken a nightmare situation and made it manageable. Not only that, when we click data refresh all, everything updates correctly. Now our custom function library called Quick Steps is only available to our Academy members. So if you want to get your hands on it, head over to excelfthegrid.com forward slash Academy. Or to find out what's included in Quick Steps, head over to excelfthegrid.com forward slash quick dash steps. Our goal with this function library is to make Power Query easier for longer by providing ridiculously easy transformations for tricky scenarios. So sign up now and get your hands on it today.